which you guys got another video on how to get rid of the new Outlook and restore the classic Outlook. Now, if you're on 23H2, you'll probably be okay to continue to use the old classic Outlook if you want to by using a toggle switch up the top, whether you want to use the new version or the old version. If you're on 23H2 and you've rolled an update out from 23H2 to 24H2, you will automatically be defaulted to the brand new Outlook. And this is what Microsoft want you to use. So if you don't want to use that and you want to revert back to the old classic Outlook, then this video is for you. This gentleman or woman sent me an email asking me to make a video showing you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So understanding what's happening with Outlook is the first key because Microsoft have now rolled out this brand new Outlook, which is full of ads and it has less features. So most people don't want it and they want to use the classic one. You can do it, but you're just going to have to do a few things first. So let's go through them in this video. This is the classic Outlook right here. I'm on 23H2, so I haven't been forced to use the brand new uh, Outlook yet, but it is on the system ready to go. So what another problem is, is once people start to um, update to 24H2, the new version will be forced on you straight away. So before we start, let's always make sure that we've got the latest version of Office installed on our system. I'm rocking the Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2021. You might be using Office 365 or another flavor of Office. So I'm going to make sure we've got all of the latest updates for Office. And you can see that has now been done and we're fully updated. Next, if you are on 23H2 and you are going to be updating to 24H2 sometime in the future and you don't want to use the new Outlook, you might want to add in a couple of registry tweaks to stop the migration to the new version of Outlook. These couple of registry tweaks are going to basically tell Windows that you want to stay on the classic version and it's also going to stop the migration to the brand new version of Outlook. To do that, you'd need to open up the registry. So let's go ahead and type regedit and go into the registry editor. The first thing you can do is go to this location right here, hkey current user, open hkey current user and then open software up and then come down to where it says Microsoft. Inside Microsoft, we're going to open this up here. Then we're looking for Office. So let's come down and look for Office. It's back up here. There it is open that up and I've got 16.0 here. So I'm going to open that folder here. And from here, we're going to open up Outlook. So let's go to Outlook here. So let's open up Outlook. And from here, what we want to do is go to Preferences. You can see there's new Outlook right here. And here we've got the Preferences. So inside here, we want to make sure that you have a registry key inside here telling Windows to use the old classic version. So from this, what you're going to do is type use new Outlook. And if you want to use the new Outlook, you would obviously set this to enabled, uh, which is one. If you want to disable it and you don't want to use the new Outlook, you need to set this to zero, which is what it's set to by default. But if it's going to use the new Outlook, it will be set to one. So you definitely don't want to do that if you don't want to use the new Outlook. If you do, then just toggle that on and then you can set up the new Outlook and it will be using the new Outlook. I don't have that key in here because I'm on 23H2. But once you go to the brand new 24H2, that key will be automatically added in. Also, inside the registry editor, you want to go to this location and this will basically tell Windows when you roll out an update to 24H2 that you don't want to migrate to the new Outlook version. So go to HKey Current User Software, and then we're going to come down to Policies, and then you're going to come into Microsoft here. Open it up and go down to Office. Open that there, and we're going to go to 16.0 for my version here, and Outlook. Open that. And you should see a preferences folder inside the Outlook folder. So we don't have one here, but I'll quickly create one just to show you what to do. If you have a preferences folder inside here, then you can just skip this little bit. So right click on Outlook, go new key and call this preferences. 
like so. On the right hand pane inside the preferences folder, you would need to create a new key. So let's go ahead and create a new D Word 32 bit value key right here. And inside here, what you're going to do is you're going to call this new Outlook Migration User Setting. This is if you're on 23H2 and you are now thinking about upgrading to 24H2, you would need to put this key in and give this an entry of zero. And this tells Windows that during the upgrade process that you're not going to want to use the new Outlook. You want to stay on the classic Outlook because the migration to 24H2 will enforce the new Outlook on you by default. And you obviously will have to use it until you make changes. You can see here policy manage user settings for new Outlook auto migration. So you can see it's not set by default. If you don't configure this policy, the user settings for automatic migration remains uncontrolled. If you want to control it, then obviously you would put a zero in to disable this policy. And it shows you right here configuring the policy using Windows registry, which is what I've just showed you. Basically, this is how you would set it up. And this will tell Windows that you want to use the old classic outlook to prevent users from switching to the new outlook you can use these registry keys right here and this will tell uh, windows that you don't want to allow users to be able to use the new outlook and this will take away the toggle to allow them to use the new outlook if you want to do that and those keys are there and you can just copy them and use those in your registry to make registry edits to block a new Outlook from pre-installing itself on Windows, you can use this right here. And this is all on the same page. You can see here Windows 11 builds after 23H2 have the new Outlook app pre-installed for all users. Currently, there isn't a way to block the new Outlook from being installed. If you prefer not to have the new Outlook show up in your organization's devices, you can remove it after it's installed. You can use the uninstall feature to uninstall that as well. All this information is on the Microsoft website. There is all the registry edits that you can do here to do different things. And there's also a lot of PowerShell uh, code on here to remove it as well. If you want to go down that path, you can use these here. I will leave all this information in the video description if you want to use it. To opt out for the new migration, again, I showed you this already. You can go through and set this up just like I'm showing you here on the screen. There's loads of information about that there as well. So depending on what you want to do, you should be able to do it by just doing a couple of simple registry edits or uh, using the actual uh, PowerShell to remove it as well. And that's how to stop it from using the new Outlook as your default mail client. Also, a quick uh, internet search here showed a Reddit uh, post right here. And this is basically showing you how to get hold of the old classic uh, file if you wanted to install this on your system. If it has been removed somehow uh, because all the files have been moved during the migration process, you will need to reinstall it and then do those registry edits. You can see the Outlook new version is right here. I don't have it installed on my system, but I'm on 23H2. But if I updated to 24H2 without making changes to the registry, it will enforce this new version of Outlook on me. And sometimes it has removed the old classic Outlook from the PC, which is something that a lot of people are complaining about. This is the new Outlook right here. I'm not going to set it up, but if I do roll out to 24H2, then I will make sure I will do the registry tweaks to my registry to stop it enforcing this new version on me. And you should do the same if you don't want to use it because it has a lot of restrictions in this version. And there's also a bundle of ads in here from Microsoft as well if you don't want that on your system. So if you look on your PC and look for Outlook inside your apps, you should see the classic version here. Right click on it. If you don't see it, then it's obviously missing and uninstalled from the system due to the update and you've already migrated to 24H2. You can also check for open file in location. You should see all your classic files uh, here. If you don't see them, you're going to have to download the Outlook Classic version from the Microsoft Store to reinstall the Classic version. And then you can go ahead and do all your registry tweaks if you've already migrated to 24H2 and you want to stop it and change it, you can still do that. You just need to download the app. And this is the app right here. 
download the classic app and this will put all the files back on that you need for the old classic version. Once this is installed, you can then go through and do all your registry tweaks to block the new version and then you can go ahead and uninstall the new version and block Windows from defaulting back to the new app, which is what it wants to do. So you would have to do those registry tweaks to stop that happening. And once you've done this, you should be OK. I've already got the classic version on my system, so I'm not going to go ahead and download and install it because I've already got it. But if you don't have it, then that's what you're going to have to do. You can see the classic version is working perfectly fine here on my system. And this is my default client. I don't use the new version. I can uninstall that new version from the PC if I want to. And that's probably the best thing before you migrate and then block it. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.